Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for the week ahead. This is for the 8th through the 14th. I do apologize, it is a day late. I'm overworked, believe it or not, so I do apologize, um, but here we are. I've been working like non-stop, but here we go, here we go. What do we got for Pisces? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What do we have for Pisces? Sorry. Mmm. Interesting. Ooh. Yikes. Okay. So, so both of these cards right here are cards of karma, okay? In, 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 in many decks, this card is labeled karma. And we all know that this card is karma, justice is karma. Both of them are reversed. Bad karma. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yikes. That's all I, I mean. Yikes. Let's get some more cards. This is bad luck, bad karma. This is uh, lack of respect, <laughs> lack of working together, not appreciating. I can't make this shit up. I'm sorry. You know, and now and now we have somebody here, here <laughs> who is going through some sort of mental turmoil. Okay. Some sort of somebody is trapped in their thoughts perhaps because they didn't act with integrity, they didn't tell the truth. Now, keep in mind, this can be the person you're dealing with, but it could be you. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. These are, I'm telling you what, somebody hasn't told the truth. There was lack of teamwork, there was lack of togetherness, there was lack of appreciation, there was lack of respect, and now there's mental Turmoil because of it. Somebody didn't act with integrity. They didn't do the right thing. Karma sees all. So, I mean, I don't know if this is the person you're dealing with or whatnot, but... Oh, my God. Ooh. Oh, my goodness gracious. <sighs> Now keep in mind, I told you this in the last reading, my relationship house, which is the seventh house, is in Pisces. So I do readings about love, which means that this reading is, you know, about relationships. So this reading would, would, would be for me too, as much as I hate to say it. Um, I really do not like to admit that, but it is what it is, right? This is crying over spilled milk, crying over a loss. This is, this is grieving a loss and realizing, you know, somebody may be realizing that they lost a good opportunity. And uh, now, you know, this is an opportunity to master your emotions and put yourself in the driver's seat and take charge of a situation. So this is about mastering your emotions and really taking the reins, you know, bringing victory and success to your life. So somebody is needing to stop avoiding the truth and make a decision. I think somebody has been avoiding the truth, and that's absolutely the truth. Avoiding the truth. Somebody ain't been telling the truth, and that is the truth. <laughs> that's funny. And now it's like, now it's like maybe they want to move forward. This is it's forward movement because these are upright. The last reading I did, they were reversed, which is pretty interesting. So anyway, it feels as though that somebody may want to move forward. Maybe they want to communicate. Maybe maybe they've been divinely guided to do so, you know, and they're, they're you know, they want to communicate. They want to move forward. They want to take back control. They want to take something. They want to take control of a situation. They're thinking about going back perhaps and, 
maybe even um, coming clean. I don't know. I don't know. Somebody has been really struggling with their thoughts about going back to a situation in which they didn't put in effort, okay? They didn't, they didn't put in effort. And now maybe maybe something, you know, maybe they just weren't aware. Maybe they weren't aware of, of uh, the connection or they weren't aware uh, that they weren't uh, doing the right thing. Maybe they just didn't see a situation clearly. You know, maybe they weren't awakened yet. Who knows what the case is. But it looks as though now somebody has... Is, is is making a move they are definitely wanting to make a move but this is stuck as well so we have these these two cards of being stuck so somebody is stuck they need to step outside of their comfort zone with faith the Hierophant is about faith so you need to have faith but that two of swords is making a that is the overall energy right there's a situation right now somebody is really really sitting on that fence they're really ha in the process of making a difficult decision in regards to whether they can face their fears or not somebody has been really in denial um avoiding the truth trying to block the truth trying to you know go down a path that isn't meant for them and, and and now perhaps, you know, karma is, is kicking them in the butt in some way because they're not acting with integrity. They're not following their truth. Somebody has been hasn't been following their truth. And I feel like now now there's like wanting movement. I, I wanna change this. It's like I wanna I wanna I wanna change this. Almost like I wanna fix this. Um Whew, the, you know, somebody is, is really, really feeling the loss. They're feeling the, the, the pain of the loss. There could have been, there could have been a, a fear of commitment here. There could have been a fear of commitment or somebody that didn't want a commitment. And now they realize that they could have had victory and success with whatever that was. I don't know. Hmm. You know, I, 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 I feel like right now somebody is really focusing on moving forward, mastering their emotions, and replacing that fear with faith. This is replacing fear with faith, and this is faith. So you, somebody may be starting to, you know, see the light or to, you know, or wanting to... Uh, I really feel like somebody wants to fix a situation. You know, that's what I keep thinking. I keep feeling like this, that they want to fix it. They want to fix it. They want to come with the truth, but they're afraid. Somebody is afraid to come with the truth. They've been blocking it for so long. There's been some serious lies here. Somebody's been lying. And, uh, you know, now it's like they probably want to communicate, but they, you know, they're afraid. They are afraid. I think somebody has made a decision that, they made some poor decisions, right? They've made a decision and, and they realize that they've made some poor decisions and they're wanting to move forward to bring success. They may, they may see that there's wish fulfillment in a situation that they denied, okay? This is denied. They denied their own wish fulfillment. They did. They did. And so now I feel like somebody has made a decision that, you know, they want this commitment. They want this happiness. They want this wish, wish fulfillment. And that, that it's like all of a sudden they have this, this renewed faith, you know, this, this, this faith that, you know, we can heal this situation. This is a card of healing and hope. I really feel like we have somebody here that is hoping. To get their stability back. Hoping that maybe hoping that they will be forgiven. Somebody maybe maybe, you know. This is a this is love. This this is love. This is an offer of love. They may, this is a apology. This is lack of apology and so isn't this one. So somebody hasn't has been reluctant to apologize or reluctant to tell the truth or reluctant to open up their heart, but I feel like now somebody is seeing that their wish fulfillment 
they're seeing where their wish fulfillment is and they may be thinking about apologizing or communicating Somebody's made a conscious change. Somebody has made a conscious change. They're no longer holding on to the same things or they're not the same person that they used to be. It's like they broke. It's like they have dropped something. I don't know what. their victim mentality. It's like they're seeing that they, they that you know, they're not the victim here. Maybe they're realizing that the other person was the victim. And, yeah, I don't know. You know, it really feels as though somebody is coming out of hiding. They've went through some sort of conscious uh, change and they've dropped something from their past. It's like they've released it. They, they've released it. They've released some sort of heavy burden from their past and they're and they're ready, they're ready to come out of this darkness. It's like they've seen the light in regards to, I think it's in regards to a partnership. We have these twos here. It's like they've seen the light. And I think that we've had somebody here that's really been um, sulking and crying over a loss. But now it's just like, you know, it's time. It's time for me to be happy again. It's time for me to go after what I want. It's time for me to you know, open my heart. Somebody's been hiding. Somebody's been hiding their true feelings. Somebody has been hiding their true feelings. And I feel like, you know, I think they're going to communicate. I really do. I think somebody is going to communicate their true feelings after they have been hidden and blocked for quite some time. And I think they were blocked because of some sort of maybe injustice. You know, maybe somebody didn't want to be held accountable for their feelings or, or their actions, you know. But now they see the potential for, for a commitment, for a long-term commitment, that this could lead to wish fulfillment, that this is what they want. It's like, this is what I want. This is what I want, and I have to go get it. And in order for me to go get it, I'm going to have to let down my my guard. I'm going to have to be honest. I'm going to have to be truthful. I'm going to have to, you know, stop blocking my true feelings. So I feel like we have somebody here that is going to communicate after they have not, they pre they may have ghosted you or something like that. Or you ghosted them or who knows what the hell this is. Oh, death. You know, death is like a ghost. It's funny that I just said that. But endings bring new beginnings. And I think somebody is realizing that they have to close that last chapter and start over. So I feel like we have somebody here that is, has went through some sort of, transformation in their life they've changed they've dropped a heavy load they've dropped a lot of baggage they're not the same person that they used to be and I feel like they're, they've been hiding their true feelings from somebody because they may have been holding on to something that was in their past or something that wasn't good for them as a to fill the void and it's just like now now there's an opportunity to start over because this is a new start it's like release and start over that's what this is release and start over with endings bring new beginnings so i really feel like pisces you have a new beginning here you do you have a new beginning um this is a dream come true it is a dream come true it is it's, it's a wish it leads you know this is a the star card is a, is a dream come true so i feel like we have a a a beautiful new beginning that has been denied for some reason or another because somebody had to see the light they had to wake up i mean they had they had to be able to uh, honor their truth i think somebody's been through a run of bad luck and because they 
involved themselves in a karmic situation that wasn't well suited for them and perhaps now they've they've broken free from that they've been broken free from that and now they realize where their love lies and i feel like we have somebody here that is is definitely moving forward because they see wish fulfillment and it's like i'm going to be honest i'm going to be truthful and i'm going after my dreams so i don't know who this reading is for but i do see a release and a fresh start here a new beginning and this is this is this is truly a blessing. It really, really, really is. Things have been out of control. Things have been chaotic, and I think somebody has been angry over a loss angry, upset, unable to master their emotions, maybe, you know, trying to control, you know, this is like a behavior of manipulation and control, and I think that it is. But I think that somebody is giving up. They're giving up that mentality, and it's like, now there's an opportunity for happiness. There is an opportunity for happiness. I really feel like somebody is letting go of the need to control. That's what I feel. I feel like it's, you know, I can't, this is out of my control. It's time for me to, it's time for me to live again. So I really feel like we have a blessing that is coming in. It's a blessing in disguise. I feel like this ending that you are experiencing or have experienced is a blessing. This is a blessing in disguise because it is going to allow you, it's going to allow you wish fulfillment. It's going to bring you some sort of wish fulfillment. It's, it's, you, you, it's basically you have delayed your own wish fulfillment or wish fulfillment has been delayed. It's been blocked because of it could be karma, it could be lack of integrity, whatever, you know, but I feel like I see forward movement now, I see forward movement, I see, I see, um, I mean, the five of swords, it's grieving, I mean, five of cups, it's grieving, it's grieving over a loss, so I feel like, you know, you have, there's somebody here that has been grieving, or they will be grieving, or, you know, somebody could be walking away, honestly, Somebody could be walking away or cutting out a connection. You know, there could be something that is ending. Um, somebody has made a decision that, you know, I need to, I need to move on. I need to, I can't live this lie anymore. I don't know. Somebody may be making a decision that they can't. It's time to move on. Somebody may be moving on. But they're moving on to bigger and better things. It's allowing you to move on to bigger and better things. So somebody is truly, this is breaking free. This is, this is breaking free. So this is like, this is the point. The Ten of Wands reversed is, is the point where this person has reached the point of collapse. I can't take it anymore. I have no choice but to drop this. I can't hold it anymore. It, you can't fight gravity. It's too heavy. I got to let it go. So if somebody is letting go of something that somebody's letting go, period. They're letting go. But they're heading to a better place, okay? This is this is a this is a rebirth. So I really feel like there's gonna be some sort of forward movement that may, you know, it may cause a little bit of suffering, it may cause a little bit of grief, it may cause a little bit of tears. Honestly, I'm gonna be honest with you. But in the end, it's going to lead you right towards a blessing, some sort of blessing in disguise. You know, it's going to help you. It's going to help you to go after your true dreams, your wishes, whatever it is. So I feel like you guys are probably 
moving in a new direction. You are. You're mo and that's what I see. I think you're moving in a new direction. And it's because something significant has ended in your life. That's what I see. You may have been controlled by another person. And that's ending. It's like I'm not. The, 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 it's like you're taking back control, right? I see a renewal. I mean, these are both renewals. So I see a renewal. A spiritual renewal. What, whoever is leaving or whatever is walking away, whatever is moving on, whatever has been holding you back is about to be removed. That's what I see. That's what fell out inner child sixteen I see forward movement leading you right towards victory and success okay seriously that chariot is moving towards victory and success You could be traveling. You could be moving, period. Moving, like moving to a new location. Inner child. Your inner child is urging you to lighten up a little. Get out of your comfort zone and have fun. In order to be healthy, we must engage our imagination, creativity, and spontaneity. When was the last time you did something spontaneous, intuitive, and outrageous? When and with whom do you feel uninhibited, relaxed, and completely comfortable to be yourself? Your inner child can be your strongest ally or your biggest foe. It can assist you to heal childhood pain, rejection, loneliness, and abandonment. Abandonment will turn you into a narcissist. Don't let it happen. It can take you on an exciting adventure, help you become more confident, daring, original, and bold. Or it can make you behave in childish ways. Bring up anxiety, fear, and suspicion. This card beckons you to heal your childhood pain and discover your independence, compassion, creativity, talents, and joy. A healthy inner child can help you connect to your integrity, <laughs> divinity, and purity. It believes in miracles and creates magic in your life. And this is a miracle. The star card is a miracle. So this, whatever is happening, it truly was a blessing in disguise. Because you, it's like you have an opportunity for extreme happiness, wish fulfillment. It's like it's a miracle that this, whatever it is, is ending. Because you got to... Better opportunity for victory and success and wish fulfillment that you didn't see coming, okay? So anyway, Pisces, that's what I have. I see, a, I see an ending, okay? An ending, this is what it is. This is, a, this is an ending that leads to a blessing in disguise, Good luck.